Did you guys know that this is what I sit on? Welcome back to Isha Gaming. I am very soon closing in on 100,000 subscribers. The quartering gave me another shout out. <laughs> Thank you so much and welcome everyone that's new to my channel and today I have no real plans except for talking about a retro console. Believe it or not, I consider this now to be a retro console. I mean define retro though. Does it mean that it's more than 10 years old? Or does it just simply mean that there are no new games coming out for the system? I don't know. But you know what? On my Discord, we were talking about games, as we do. And uh, someone mentioned that Luigi's Mansion 1 was ported to the 3DS. And I was like, no, it wasn't. What are you talking about? And he was like, yeah, it was. And I'm like, how did I miss out on that? Why did I not know about this? Maybe I just forgot. Honestly, maybe that is it, because I have been playing this on the GameCube. Maybe I knew about this back in the day, but I didn't care. I don't know. But I was like, I'm gonna buy that. And I found a website that sells 3DS games in 2023. So I picked up a few titles that I was missing out on, that I knew I was missing out on. This one, I've been putting this off for so long. I was meaning to pick this up back when this was coming out. When was that? 2017, but I never did. So here I am in 2023, picking up freaking 3DS games, and I am enjoying the heck out of this system. And let me tell you, I have been playing the Switch since release, and I have never truly gone back until now, suddenly, with Luigi's Mansion. But first, oh my god, this video is sponsored by Nixie. So here you have the Nixie Athena wireless controllers, like Joy-Cons, for your Nintendo Switch. I find them to be very comfortable. I'm liking them, enjoying them, and I think they look really pretty. And I finally have my Switch all black. I've been looking for all black Joy-Cons. Nintendo hasn't officially released black Joy-Cons. They have the gray ones. Also, they are breeding all kinds of different RGB colors from the analog sticks, which I very much like. That looks really good in the dark. They are charged through the Switch. You can also individually charge each Joy-Con. You can also attach them to the little thing that I don't remember the name of. So they are basically Joy-Cons that you attach to your Switch. Works on the regular model and the OLED. You can also swap between the colors that you want to have displayed behind the analog sticks with the button on the back side and then you press down the analog stick so you can choose the colors. I like to have it breathing colors. <laughs> I have a link down below and I have a discount code for the Nixie Athena. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now when it comes to the 3DS, do you guys miss the 3DS? Let's start there. I want to know down in the comment section, do you miss the 3DS? I still see people in comment sections saying that, oh, bring your 3DS to the convention. People are still doing that. People are still collecting those puzzle pieces that you get from Street Pass. Some people are. <laughs> the eShop is dead. Rip. So now I feel like we are stuck with purchasing physical games. You know, I have sort of switched myself over to all digital, but in this case I cannot do that. I have to purchase actual games. Now, Luigi's Mansion may be one of very high up there anyways, maybe one of my favorite GameCube games, because I find it to be so incredibly replayable. I know I've mentioned this before, but it's just so satisfying to replay Luigi's Mansion every time you sit down with it. And I feel constantly drawn to Luigi's Mansion. I don't know what it is, but I'm a super fan of the first Luigi's Mansion. Super fan of that. And it was ported to the 3DS. And I'm late to the party, I know, because I am always late. People are calling me the internet explorer of the gaming world because I'm so slow at everything. But anyways, such a game. I think this port looks super sharp on the screen. So crispy. It's so much fun to play this one again. Now, one of the immediate changes that I found with this port is that you no longer have a 3D map, but it's okay. The Game Boy Horror looks really good. The 3D slider, which I keep forgetting that the 3DS has, looks really good, but I, I have it slightly up, ever so slightly. I never play with 3D all the way up here if you know what I mean. And that looks good. Another thing is that they have added achievements in the game, which is like a list of things that you should do in each chapter. And I find that also to be really satisfying and good. Also, and when you are controlling the camera with this little knob, which is exclusive to the new 3DS model, you can kind of do that. But I also read somewhere that it is better to have that attachment thing, which adds another analog stick to your console. 
controller. I regret nothing. This one was full price, even for being an older game. By now, older. It was full price. Uh, I regret nothing. This one, now I have that in my pocket. Loving the music, loving the atmosphere, loving Luigi's Mansion 1. So good. I highly recommend that. If you're feeling nostalgic from the GameCube version, which I constantly feel, Okay, so next game. This one. Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. Did you guys know that this game was a pack-in with, what was it, Final Fantasy VII back in the day? Someplace in the world, I read, I heard. And that is how a lot of people got into Dragon Quest. That's kind of funny. This one is also 2017. Wait. Oh, this one was released in 2018. This is 2017. Now, when it comes to Dragon Quest VIII, I actually, back in the day, back in the day, I don't know, 2015 maybe, 16 maybe. I think it was 15 actually. <laughs> I went on eBay and I got this for the PS2, uh, which I didn't have at the moment. I got a PS2 from a friend. So this was the game that I played on a PS2 and it was the only thing that I played on it. I don't remember ever finishing that game, so now I am going to, hopefully. Now, this one, I could say the same about this. It's an excellent port. It looks super sharp and crisp. You know what? On the 3DS, there is no Switch blurriness. And it's so shocking to me how good this console is still today it's just so ahead of its time and you know what i like the form factor of the 3ds it's much better for sideways bed gaming definitely now in dragon quest 8 i have gotten to jessica i suggest that you grind up until you are about level 7 before you go and take that waterfall boss the fall water boss i mean it's a very old school traditional rpg with quests and equipment some things are probably a bit aged by now like the menu system everyone is having their own bag that's the whole thing but that is a dragon quest thing also you have to go into a church in order to save and make sure you're hitting a all the way if you're hitting B in the wrong menu, you are pushed back to the main menu. And I also recommend that you get the boomerang for your main character, okay? Because that one attacks all of the enemies on the screen. Really good. I just think that this game is such a classic. You guys have probably already played it, but I'm giving you a heads up that if this one passed you by, this one looks better than the PS2 version. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. Really, really freaking good. So I am in a Dragon Quest mood these days. You know, I low-key want to play, replay Dragon Quest IX again. I think it's about time that I'm going back. Going back to older games, that feels good sometimes. I wanna know which games you wanna go back to also down below, Lord. Now the last game that I picked up is Yokai Watch, which I have never played. I think I played the demo on the 3DS so many years ago, and I remember kind of low-key liking it. But this time I just picked it up because I wanna know what it is about. I've only heard good things about Yokai Watch. I've never heard anything bad. They are solid games, apparently. I am like one hour in. Uh, so far, it feels very Pokemon-y. You're collecting these small animals, monsters or whatever, yokais, and you use them in battling, and you're also looking for them everywhere because they're hiding everywhere. I am enjoying the graphics, really good. Very colorful, lighthearted stuff. But like I said, I haven't played it too much yet, but I'm liking it so far. I also, I read like, that there are a ton of yokai watch games on the 3DS. Uh, I am having this one. I know nothing of the series. I wanna know what you guys think of this series too. Is this series discontinued? Are they still making yokai watch games? Because I don't, I don't recall hearing the name for several years. What's up with that? Also, to end the video, I'm gonna show you my 3DS collection. Just a sneak peek. This is not everything. I have a bit more, but such a practical case. I don't remember where I bought this. Maybe it was eBay tons of years ago. I don't have a link for this one, but I still love it. I like having my games like neat and tidy like this, watchable, so that I can see all of the games. Mm, kinda want to replay a lot of these. Lol, not gonna lie. Like Tales of the Abyss, lol, and Fantasy Life. 
fantasy life. You know, we, I was talking with Hella on Discord and we talked about fantasy life and there's coming another fantasy life and you probably already know this, but it's called The Girl Who Steals Time and that looks really good. I was very obsessed with fantasy life on the 3DS. Such a good game. So I'm looking forward to that too. I am having a 3DS moment. What are you having? A 3DS moment? Now I want to know what are some hidden gems on the 3DS. Maybe I am actually missing out on a lot of games because I don't know everything, apparently. Because I didn't know or it just passed me by or I forgot that Luigi's Mansion 1 was ported to the 3DS. <laughs> oh my god, that's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you want to subscribe to my channel. We are reaching 100k and that's funny. And I have to sneeze. <laughs> Link down below to Athena. And I will see you later.